The battery was getting a bit low. Just got the back right wheel. I think this is one that sticks up here. Just keep a little eye on it. Yeah, that's an angle. Went straight, went bottom down, went in the water. So in all situations, we always walk through your water and we'll get the best route. Don't bag your way through, otherwise you're going to be stuck in there. If you've got enough water there for it, I'll slide off while you're trying to get help. Now do your boat. I get it. <laughs> Volunteer someone to take it out there. Just pull it here. Snatching it out and being the vehicle when you get snatched out. Yeah, because of the jerking tip. Yeah, that whip. Yeah, all the brush. So all you do is just hold your center and move forward. Keep your head straight. And just close. Mm -hmm. If you're stacking like that in the forward as a buck, get a sharp wing, take, take some out from the front wheels, give you a general roll out. Yeah. So you should just flip, back to lift up, the front should just virtually roll straight out. Mm -hmm. And so damage to you and the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And so it's brewing your snatch truck. So if you haven't done the top of the wheels out a bit, you pull it, that snatch truck's coming, right, snap, out, do a lot of damage to either the vehicle or if it hits you, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Like winching. If you're winching someone out, you keep people right away. If a winch goes over with a pay out, which is cable out, you got that out, make sure. The only people who are close to that is those who need to be. The only person who needs to be close to that is the one that's controlling the winch. Anyone else? Get them one and a half times the length of your payout away. So if that breaks, it will recall and then go. Uh, Ivan, what's the difference between winching and wenching? A winch is a female winch. Is a, you've seen them motor on the uh, front end full of drive. Ah, thank you. <laughs> uh, with your winching, try and keep a, a hessian bay on it. You've got the centre of it, put a hessian bay around it. It's called a damper. Yeah, it stops it with the smoking. No. It means if it breaks, it's going to drop to the ground pretty quick. It's not going to turn off anywhere. Yeah, it just mm -hmm. a lot. You have that a winch cable under tension, which means when it's starting to pull, that snaps, will cut a person in half. No problem. 
No, Marlon, we, we won't put Terry in front of it for an example. You do, whatever you do, anyone comes within one and a half times that came, you stop, you can say it privately, I don't care how you say it. The prior you say it, the more response you're going to get. Yeah. So you, when you go in a winch, you make sure, you pick some big trees, you say, the big tree over there. Yeah. All you guys, if you're not required man, stand over there. The person that's in the worst spot is the control, person in control of the uh, winch. If you can, sit in the vehicle. You bring the cable through, the cables will go from the winch into your vehicle, mm -hmm. and you can control from in there. So that recalls, it may come up, so if you can see that coming, you may, your head is just going to lay down. Mm -hmm. But you've got to keep an eye on things. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see anyone within the danger zone. That the danger zone is life's too precious. Mm -hmm. We'll learn a fair bit of that when we're out on the field anyway. Yeah, we won't be doing any, we're not going to actually do the winch belt. We're going to use a turf up. Yeah, that Which is a hand winch. Pretend? No, that uh, hand winch. Hand winch we are German for real. Oh, yeah. But the winch, that's a turf, but the winch we're not going to use. It's only a new cable, and until we've got a few other vehicles around, a few more things going, we don't want to take chances. That's an emergency use only at the moment. And so they've only just put a new one on this year. Mm -hmm. If someone uh, used it, didn't want it back in properly, bugging it up, it's not a matter of cutting the cable off, it's a matter of replacing the whole cable. Yeah, once it's recalled, the memory to the it won't recall properly. Yeah, it was pinched. And once you've got a pinch in there, which is the flattening of that spot in the cable, it's your weakest point. It's going to break. That's what's going to break. And you don't need a lot of pressure to break it. Reduces the strength of the cable. Yes. Like your angles. If you best price of uh, winching for the direct pull. If you can't, if it's stuck, and you can't get a direct pull into it. You get a, a pulley to a tree. Bring it up to the tree, to the pulley, back down to your vehicle, and you loose that way. Good thing about that, if it breaks, it's only 99% it, chance it's just going to wrap around the tree. Yeah, for the greenies' sake, we don't, hope, we don't want to damage the tree. That's why we use tree protectors and other things, hessian bags to reduce it. But sometimes these things happen. You heard them talking about bow wave on there. On the forward crossing. On the crossing. What's your bow wave? You get a momentum up, it's pushing the water, building up. Mm -hmm. While you've got that bow wave, you've got no problems. The water's going away from the motor, it's not coming into the motor. Oh, nice. This means you won't stall the vehicle. So you have to be driving at a pace that will make a bow wave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eight k's. Eight, ten k's will do that. It's just enough, you'll see it, the water pushing forward. Once you get that momentum of the water going forward, keep the speed. Like that one's got water where the water's flowing. You're not always going to be in a good position where you can come up towards the water. Sometimes you've got to go with the water. You can't say, well, I want the river creek to change direction. It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It's more dangerous. Let this be a reminder to you all that this organization will not tolerate failure. Oops. I did it again, baby. Yeah! What led you through the hopelessly tangled underbrush of private security organizations to our door, hmm? Stellar word of mouth, our fine client roster, those flyers we put up in that public urinal?